Creating parallel roads in City Skylines is super easy with the help of one mod, Network Multi-Tool. So today I wanted to show you how to create parallel roads with this mod. To do this, you will need the Network Multi-Tool mod. Now, if you don't have it, I will have a link to it in the description below that will take you to the most recent version of the mod. Once you have subscribed to this mod, you'll also need to be sure to subscribe to the Harmony Dependency, which you can do by simply clicking on this link and it will take you directly to the mod dependency. And if you have more questions about installing mods in your City Skylines game, I'll have a link in the description below that has a full tutorial on just that. But for now, let's jump back over into Cities and get started. One of the best parts about the Parallel Road tool is that it works with a variety of different networks. So we can actually add a parallel road to even something like a key wall, or we can even use it to create a frontage road next to our highway. But let's take this little area for example. As you can see, we have a really good view off in the distance of our city skyline that we made for Showcase City. So let's go ahead and add a parallel road. So my network multi-tool is actually placed in the Unified UI mod. Now, if you don't have this mod, it won't show up here, but you can find it in your road settings. It's simply this icon down here. You can also access the mod at any time by hitting Control T on your keyboard when you're in the game. But in order to create the parallel road or network, we need to go ahead and select the kind of road we want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this two-lane road with median trees and bicycle lanes. Once you've selected the network you want to use, open your network multi-tool and select the parallel road tool. Once you've selected the parallel road tool, you'll have a dialog box next to your cursor that says create parallel mode. What we need to do is select the node we want to start our road at. So for this example, I'll click right here and then move all the way down to where you would like your parallel road to stop. So for this tutorial, I'll just select down here. Now, as you can probably guess, this isn't necessarily what we were going for, but that's super simple to fix. All we need to do is hit tab on our keyboard. If you want to bring it closer to your key wall or take it further away, you can just hit plus or minus on your keyboard. Holding shift will actually move this in increments of 10 so you can move it further and further away. And if you're ever curious how far away your network is from the parallel network, you can see a very simple ruler right here where it shows this is 70 meters away. So for this, I wanna bring it in just a little bit closer to the key wall so that we can add a small pedestrian path so our sims can connect and walk onto the key wall. Once you have your parallel road tool in the position you want, hit enter on your keyboard and you will see it create the parallel network right along the key wall. So I used a key wall in this video with such an extreme design to mainly showcase how good this tool is at actually creating a parallel network to it. If we were going for realism, I don't necessarily think we would see so many curves in this road, but I wanted to show just how good this tool is. Before we jump into creating a frontage road though, I wanna go over a few common problems that you may run into. You can probably already tell that zoning has been disabled in specific parts of this network. This is a really common issue and something that I've found helps is taking move it, selecting the node, dragging it out a bit and hitting control Z to undo it. Now, when we go back to our zoning, we'll be able to see that it's added zoning back. Another common issue that you may run into when using the network multi-tool is that when you hit enter on your keyboard, it doesn't actually do anything. There are a couple of weird fixes that I have found for this over the past few months of using this mod. One of the easiest ones is to go into your options, open network multi-tool in the options, click on shortcuts and scroll down to where it says applied mode action. From here, you can reset the keyboard shortcut to apply the action or if all else fails, you can restart your game, try again, and usually from that point it works. The last common issue that you may run into when starting out with this mod is needing to select every intersection that you run through. So let's say we wanted to create a road parallel to this arterial right here. To do that, we need to obviously go back into our network multi-tool and select the create parallel mode. If we select this right here, we can't immediately just jump to the very last node where we want the road to end. We have to go through and manually select every intersection that this crosses through. From here, we can press tab and shift plus over to get this over about 60 meters. From there, we can hit enter again, and then we have our parallel road again without zoning. Another great feature of this mod is because it works with all types of networks, we can actually use this to create a parallel fence to a road. So let's say we have a curvy road on like this one that goes up a mountain. We can actually click on the fence and then create a parallel network by selecting the first node and then coming down to the very end and selecting the last node. So now we have a very nice and somewhat useless fence blocking no traffic from entering this road whatsoever. This probably isn't the best example to show it on, but it does look great if you have a curvy mountain road that needs a bit of reinforcement for cars. So now we can use everything we've learned in this video to create a frontage road for our highway. Open network multi-tool and hit the create parallel icon, and then we can select the nodes where we want the frontage roads to run. 
We'll hit shift to move it back out another 10 meters, hit enter, and now we are starting the process of our frontage road. So now mixing it all together, we can also come over, grab our fence to act as a sound barrier, grab network multi-tool and create another parallel to act as a sound barrier between the two roads. This time, instead of holding shift, we'll just hit plus on our keyboard a couple of times to give a little bit of distance between the highway and the frontage road, hit enter, and now we have a frontage road with a sound barrier or a zoo fence. So as you can see, creating a parallel road with Network Multi-Tool is an extremely simple process. I really recommend playing around with it, seeing how the mod works and experimenting to see what you can pull off. So by all means, if you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and click on the video in the top right corner of the screen right now because YouTube seems to think you'll like it. And by all means, let us know in the comments down below if this video helped you or if they were right about their video recommendation.